Bienvenidos and welcome to the 2021 Hispanic Heritage Celebration Award, Celebrando Nuestra Herencia Hispana, presented by the Status of Latinos Presidential Advisory Committee at the University of South Florida. On behalf of the SOL Committee, thank you for joining our celebration of Hispanic heritage and the notable contributions of USF's talented and diverse students, faculty, and staff. Closed captioning is available with the CC icon on the lower right corner of this video player. As we begin, our partners are excited to give away some fun prizes as part of our raffle. Today, to enter, click the link in the chat box or in the description box just below this video. We'll announce the winners at the conclusion of today's premiere. And speaking of our partners, today's celebration is possible because of them. So we'd like to share our sincere appreciation to USF Office of Diversity, Inclusion and Equal Opportunity, USF Office of Multicultural Affairs, Univision Tampa Bay, Unimas Tampa Bay, Centro Tampa, Loli's Mexican Cravings, Arcoiris Restaurant, and Moreno Bakery. And now, to kick us off, it is our pleasure to introduce USF President Ria Law. On behalf of the University of South Florida, I am delighted to welcome you to this year's Hispanic Heritage Celebration Awards. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, we celebrate the accomplishments of USF's Hispanic and Latin students, faculty, and staff. In particular, we are proud to recognize the students who are earning scholarships and awards and as they pursue their academic and life aspirations. At USF, we are proud to be the fastest rising university in the nation and one of the most diverse. In fact, our newest classes to USF are the most diverse and accomplished students in the history of the university. Most importantly, USF helps all our students succeed at the same rate, regardless of background or circumstances. We are proud that our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion is attracting such high achieving students, world-class faculty, and talented staff. Together, as one USF, our commitment will help shape a future that supports access and opportunity for all. Congratulations to all of this year's awardees. We are so proud to celebrate with you. Go Bulls! Hello everyone, my name is Corey Posey and I'm the Campus Diversity Officer for the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatee Campus. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for today. Ms. Luz Conquera is my good friend and partner in education here in Sarasota Manatee. She is the Executive Director of Unidos Now, a nonprofit organization committed to empowering Hispanic and Latinos to achieve the American dream through education, integration, and civic engagement. Luz was born in Peru and immigrated to Canada, where she practiced as a psychotherapist for 16 years and remains a clinical member of the Ontario Society of Registered Psychotherapists before moving to Florida in 2000. Luz has a proven track record in community building and engagement. She previously served as program director for Healthy Start Manatee and as a community health director for the Florida Department of Health in Manatee. Luz is passionate about education, health, and cultural competency. Her significant work includes developing and overseeing diverse community-based initiatives to empower underserved and at-promise communities via prevention and education. Luz has been recognized with numerous awards for building strong relationships in the Minnesota region with private, public, faith-based, and civic organizations to close the education achievement gap, reversing negative health trends, in empowering people to civic integration. I present to you, Ms. Luz Conquer. What an honor to be celebrating the 2021 Hispanic Heritage Awards of the University of South Florida with all of you. Thank you so much for the invitation. I am Luz Corcuera, Executive Director of Unidos Now, a non-for-profit organization 
that has been in existence for the past 12 years. Our mission is to empower Latinos to achieve the American dream through education, integration, and civic engagement. I am originally from Lima, Peru, and my story is like any other immigrant's story, filled with determination, hard work, sacrifice, and most importantly, with hope. My own daughters are the inspiration behind my decision to take the leadership of Unidos Now five years ago. It's because of them that I saw that when you put a hard work and you keep the focus on your dreams, you can accomplish anything you want. Today, they enjoy careers that was made possible because they were able to take advantage of the opportunities by going to undergrad and grad school on significant scholarships. So I wanted for every child what my daughters enjoy today. At Unidos Now, I have been um, amazed by these talented, hardworking students who face so many challenges, such as language barriers, transportation, not having role models around that have even finished high school or have pursued higher education. However, they bring their dreams and aspirations to the table. And our goal is to make sure that we give them all the tools that they need to succeed. For the past six years, Unidos Now has been preparing students to pursue higher education, whether this translates into a four-year, two-year college degree or a high quality certification. We have a, accomplished 100% college attainment. And just this past fall, the latest cohort of students that are attending right now on universities like Stanford, Yale, uh, Cornell University, Vassar College, University of South Florida, University of Florida, they earn a combined $4 million in scholarships and grants. These students not only excel in the academics, but also take the time to give back to the community. These are the leaders of today and tomorrow. Our future is in amazing hands. We are seeing the type of leaders that our country needs today. Leaders with compassion, leaders with passion, with kindness, but leaders who really care about the community. It is important for us to celebrate the Hispanic Heritage Month. As Hispanics in the community in the country, who are not only the largest minority in the United States, but also we are showing a rapid growth in our region. Just in the past 10 years in Sarasota and Manatee counties, the growth of the Latino population has been 350%. And if we look at the kindergarten enrollment in Sarasota, Manatee, and the Soto counties, it's almost at 40%. This is showing us a trend that we keep growing steadily. And we need to continue preparing our students to take on the leadership and the challenges of the world tomorrow. I have high hopes for all of us as a society and also the desire to share our culture and our values. Values are very important in the work we do at Unidos Now. And family is one of the most important values in the Latino community. So we honor this commitment to the families by providing um, not only bilingual, by but also by cultural programs for the students and their parents. It is really heartwarming to see that when we take the students on local college tours, the entire family wants to go with them. So we have parents, grandparents, uh, uncles, aunts, and, and the siblings, and all of them thinking about the opportunities for the future. It's also very important that we give the parents the opportunity to learn about the college application process. So we have programs in the elementary, middle, and high school to provide those tools for the students and their parents. 
In the elementary schools, our Future Leaders Academy has really focused on the third and fourth Latinas that are learning about um, non-traditional careers. They have the opportunity to learn about robotics and uh, also um, coding. We partner with the University of South Florida, with New College, to provide this opportunity for these young women. Uh, two years ago, they participated in the first robotics competition in Southwest Florida, and they received a special award from the judges just because their parents were their coaches. In the middle school, we make sure that students understand the importance of choosing the right classes and they take into consideration the long-term picture. And the advantage is that they can enjoy the mentorship of the high school students that have already been through our program. In the high school, we offer high school clubs in all the high schools in Sarasota and Manatee counties. And the officers are students that went through our program. In our Future Leaders Academy for high school students, we want to make sure that the students not only understand who they are, that they discover their passion and align their passion with potential career choices. We provide for them career exploration days, uh, workshops that teach them how to build a resume, how to write an essay, the importance of supplemental essays, how to choose a college based on their fit not only um, on the value, but also if this is the best college for them. We take them on, on college tours to show them large and small colleges, um, state and private colleges, so that they can see where they can thrive. And sometimes students are given the opportunity to go out of state. Um, lately, we have uh, so many amazing universities that want to partner with us. Just uh, last year, we were part of a consortium of organizations offering um, a college fair for all, where there were over 70 universities that were providing information for the students and the opportunities that each of them are offering to them. We have to understand that our uh, low-income first-generation students have special needs that not many other students may have and it is important for the colleges who are our main partners in the work we do to understand that um, they have to offer those resources. I have to be uh, very grateful to the University of South Florida because they have been a steady partners in our Future Leaders Academy program and they have afforded us the opportunity to allow our students to learn on campus what college life is all about, but also to get familiar with a schedule that um, they may have in the future. We are also really grateful to our amazing community partners. It's really uh, incredible to live and work in a caring community that values the work of non-for-profit organizations but most importantly, that they value the diversity that all Latinos bring to the table. We not only are glad to share our music, our passion, our food, our stories, but also we offer our hands and our shoulders to be valued members of this community, ready to give, ready to contribute every day. And that's why we applaud every effort to celebrate the contributions of the Hispanic Latinos in our region. And I um, wish all the uh, recipients of the awards this year the best of luck. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the University of South Florida for offering this type of programs. And thank you for being uh, uh, our partners and for continuing to offer your resources so that we can build together a better future for all. Thank you so much for having me today. It was a real pleasure um, meeting you all. USF Soul Scholarship Program was established in 2015 by the USF Status of Latinos Presidential Advisory Committee to recognize and support full-time undergraduate 
and graduate students who are undocumented and or whose parents are undocumented and who demonstrate academic excellence and active engagement in the Latino community. The program provides students with academic, professional, moral, and social support to ensure that they thrive and succeed at USF and beyond. Currently, the program has three scholarships, the Vivian A. Oliva and Beverly Oliva Vale Endowed Soul Scholarship, the Beverly Oliva Vale Family Endowed Soul Scholarship, and the USF Soul Scholarship Fund. Since 2015, over nine students have been awarded a Soul Scholarship thanks to the generosity of our donors. And so a big thank you to all of our donors and congratulations to all of the Soul Scholarship recipients. Hi, my name is Fatima Cabrera. I am one of the Soul Scholarship recipients and I am also a 2019 USF graduate. Currently, I am working at an elementary school as a first grade dual language teacher. And our mission is just to help students become bilingual in both English and Spanish. Um, I'm so grateful for the scholarship because I was able to further my studies and get my bachelor's in education. And I'm able to come back to my community and give back in um, areas of high needs, especially for students that have a similar background to me. Um, without the scholarship, I don't know if I would have had the financial support to continue my education due to my immigration status. Um, I was not able to receive help from other programs, but I am so grateful for the Seoul Committee because um, they believed in us and they uh, gave us an opportunity to continue our education. And I encourage anyone that has DACA or is undocumented to apply for this scholarship because it's a great opportunity to get financial help. I'm also encouraging anyone that would love to help and support to get in contact with the USF Soul Committee and see how you can get involved. Now it is time to introduce this year's Soul Scholarship recipients. Jaylene Galabis is a senior majoring in biomedical sciences and minoring in infection control. She's first generation college student. Her mom and dad are from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Jaylene and her siblings were proudly raised in the Mexican culture. After she obtains her bachelor's degree, she plans to attend medical school. Ultimately, she aspires to become a pediatrician in hopes to influence the youth. In her spare time, she enjoys playing tennis and exploring new places. Jaylene is receiving the USF Soul Scholarship. Jacqueline Flores is a third year student majoring in accounting. She's from Bullberry, Florida, but proudly represents her parents from Puebla, Mexico. Jacqueline has successfully balanced school, work, and extracurriculars by choosing to get involved in the College Assistant Migrant Program as an ambassador, the Corporate Mentor Program for First Generation Business Students, and MASA, the Mexican American Student Association. She has also successfully made the Dean's List for her entirety at USF and hopes to one day work for an accounting firm within the Tampa Bay area to bring more representation of Hispanic business women to corporate America. Jacqueline is receiving the USF Soul Scholarship. Annalise Ibarra Villegas is in her final year at USF working towards her bachelor's in elementary education. She thanks her family and community for giving her the opportunity of becoming the first in her family to attend college. Her interest in education truly began in her sophomore year of high school when she took an introductory course about the teaching profession. From there, her love for teaching blossomed. She looks forward to interning in an elementary classroom. After graduation, Annalise hopes to teach at the same elementary school she attended, which is predominantly Latino so she may give back to the community that gave to her. Annalise is receiving the Vivian A. Oliva and Beverly Oliva Veil Endowed Soul Scholarship. 
Jennifer Rodriguez is majoring in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. She's a first-generation student, which has made college more difficult and challenging. She holds an associate's degree from Hillsborough Community College from where she graduated with honors and placed on the dean's list. When she transferred from Hillsborough Community College to USF, she joined MASA, Mexican American Student Association, HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America, and ONDOC United. Outside of his school, she does volunteering work wherever needed. Jennifer's overall goal is to attend medical school and become a doctor to help in her community. She's receiving the Beverly Oliva Vale Family Endowed Soul Scholarship. Adela Rojas Bautista is from Hardy County, Florida. Her parents immigrated to the U.S. from Oaxaca, Mexico to give her and her two siblings a better life. This is Adela's second year at USF, and she has already earned a junior status. She was in a dual enrollment program while in high school and was able to complete most of the prerequisites. She's currently enrolled in the nursing program at USF and is a mentor in the College Assistant Migrant Program. After graduation, Adela hopes to work as a registered nurse and give back to her community. Adela is receiving the USF Soul Scholarship. Congratulations to all the Soul Scholarship recipients. The USF Hispanic Heritage Celebration Poster Contest gives USF students, staff, and faculty the opportunity to express through art what Hispanic heritage means to them and the opportunity to win a $300 prize sponsored by the USF Status of Latinos Committee. Each year, a panel of celebrity judges from the community has the challenging task of selecting the winning poster. This year's judges include Miriam Warren, Editor Central Tampa, Editor Community Spot Tampa Bay Times. Miriam's passion is journalism and hunting stories to share with a growing and diverse Hispanic community. She graduated from Severian University, Colombia. Miriam is an award-winning journalist who has worked for government publications and children magazines. She joined the Tampa Tribune as multimedia journalist of Central Tampa in 2004 and became editor of Central Tampa Now, part of Tampa Bay Times. Miriam has become very entrenched in the Hispanic community and is always available for local events and breaking stories. Filippo Ferretti is an Italian journalist, news reporter, and anchor at Univision Tampa in Orlando, becoming the first Italian to work as Spanish news communicator in the United States. He began his professional career in 2002 at Media Set as producer and reporter. He works in more than 20 countries as a professional journalist. His professional performance has led him to make information and write for more than 15 different newspapers and magazines in several countries. He graduated in 2004 from the University of Florence in television, communication, and journalism. In 2006, he finished his master's degree in Yeoman University in television journalism. In 2008, he finished his second master's degree in journalism and communication at the Autonomous University of Barcelona, Spain, and he stood out since 2010 as a journalist correspondent from the United States for Italy television and international Spanish language networks such as Live TV and TVE and anchor of the news of the weekend news. He is a member of the National Hispanic Association of Journalists he has won 2018 and 2019 the State Award of the Florida Society of Professional Journalists. Paxi Sanchez is a community leader with over 30 years of experience in higher education administration, advocacy, and access. She served the University of South Florida for over 20 years as Director of Diversity and Inclusion and Director of the USF Latino Scholarship Program. In 2008, Paxi secured a historic $2 million gift from the Helios Foundation, the largest gift in the history of the USF Latino Scholarship Program. She has provided college knowledge and life-changing opportunities for hundreds of students and their families. Paxi arrived in the U.S. from Cuba at the age of 13 through the 1980 Mariel Exodus and settled in Tampa where she and her family began their lives from scratch. She earned 
a master's degree in Spanish literature and a bachelor's in psychology at USF. She has received numerous awards and recognitions, such as Name Hispanic Women of the Year in 2016, added to the Diversity Community Leaders Wall of Fame in 2017, selected as 2020 Fellow for the Hispanic Association of College and Universities Leadership Academy, and appointed to the Career Source Florida Board of Directors by Governor Ron DeSantis in 2020. Paxi is a past chair for the City of Tampa Mayor's Hispanic Advisory Council, former director of the Eckerd Foundation, and served as liaison between USF President Judy Genshaft and the Latin Community Advisory Committee. Paxi was also instrumental in the establishment of the USF Soul Scholarship Program. Hello, on behalf of the USF Hispanic Heritage Celebration Poster Contest judges, I would like to introduce this year's Poster Contest winners duo, Darlene Garcia and Dolka Morico. Dr. Darlene is a licensed clinical psychologist working at Consulting Center at USF Tampa Campus. She was originally born in Puerto Rico and reigns in New England. In her clinical work, she enjoys working with individuals who identify as diverse across any spectrum, including LGBTQ plus identified persons, racial and ethnic minorities, first generation students, students of non-traditional age, students with disabilities, and international students. She is very proud to be bilingual, bicultural, and ally an advocate for social justice. It was an honor to come together with her sister to create an art piece that showcased the various elements that Latinx community has contributed to our American culture and is infused in the overall cultural fabric of the United States. And Dolca Morico was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico and graduated from Bayer College of Art Outside of creating art, Dolka worked for 20 plus years as a creative in marketing and advertising at companies such as Oglovy in New York. Dolka is inspired by Andy Warhol, Picasso, Monet, Renoir, and Pollock. The splatters, swirls, shapes, and textures you find in her work represent the emotions, experience, and stories of human life and the subject depicted. Her art looks to bring in the rich history of each subject, past and present. It was an honor for her to create both with hand draw art and graphic image, the eclectic cultural elements that make the Latino culture so diverse for the Hispanic Heritage Month poster. Dolka's work has been exhibited at the SPAG Artist Guild, Carriage Barn Art Center, Norwalk Art Walk, Sono Art Festival, La Guardia, JFK, New York American Airlines and Mills Club with Ember Art Gallery, Ogloby Building New York City Gallery Show, among other many other locations. Congratulations. The Office of Graduate Student Services provides services and resources to a diverse graduate student population. Today, we recognize one of the notable graduate students in the Diverse Graduate Student Success Program.
one professional basketball player now calls Tampa home. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how she's focusing on helping athletes with how they are living. Well, Stephanie Rosado said playing basketball was the best time of her life. However, it was also the most challenging. We're not talking about shooting or rebounding. We're talking about mentally. Stephanie Rosado is a long way from the courts she grew up playing on in Pontiac, Michigan. Lots of poverty, um, humble beginnings. So um, I had to identify a way out, and basketball was it for me. Stephanie went on to play at Indiana Purdue University Fort Wayne, which led her to a starting role on the Puerto Rican women's national team. That was the highlight of my career. In 2010, she powered the team to a championship in the Central Basket Tournament. It was really big for us, for me to help and contribute that gold medal for the first time in the history of Puerto Rico. But despite dominating on the court, life off of it was far from a free throw. You're supposed to be tough, mentally tough. You have to get through, and that's not the reality. We struggle. Stephanie began to realize she was not alone. Teammates who went through disordered eating, who were in unhealthy relationships. She said they had every resource available to become a better player, but when it came to becoming a healthier person, they weren't sure where to turn. We can save a lot of athletes from going through a lot of hard times if we intervene at the right, at the right time. After retiring from basketball, Stephanie joined the Alliance of Social Workers in Sports. My goal is to bring light to this issue, that athletes are a vulnerable population. Athletes do suffer. Stephanie was one of four out of 5,000 applicants to receive a $20,000 Sally Mae Bridging the Dream Scholarship. She is currently pursuing a PhD in social work at USF. It validated that my story does mean something and I can go on and I, people do want to help athletes. People do believe in me and believe in the work that I'm doing. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Hey, yeah. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Rosado. What an honor it is to be celebrated and recognized this Hispanic Heritage Month during the USF 2021 Awards. Thank you to the Office of Graduate Studies and to the Status of Latinos Committee. It is such an honor and I take great pride in being recognized in this year's awards. With that, we would like to remind everyone to enter the raffle that is currently going on. It is easy to enter in the raffle. All you have to do is click the link below this video in order to be redirected to a web page where you can enter your information. The link will also be provided in the chat box. The raffle will close in just the next few moments and winners will be announced at the end of this premiere. So sit back, relax, and I hope you're enjoying the show. Thank you again. The Soul Awards honors outstanding students, faculty, staff, and community leaders who are making a profound difference in the lives of the Latino, Latinx community through their academic research and community service. It is my true privilege to introduce to you this stellar group of Soul Awards recipients. Enjoy. And now announcing the 2021 Student Soul Awards. Ima Camposano is from Jackson Heights, Queens by way of Guayaquil, Ecuador. She began her Master of Social Work internship with the Center for Autism and Related Disabilities by learning about their mission and familiarizing herself with the services and resources available to the autism community in the Tampa Bay region. She collaborated with CARD consultants to provide direct support to families and individuals with ASD and co-led community trainings for educators, autism-friendly business partners, law enforcement, and other systems of care. Ima co-hosts on CARD's La Hora del Cafecito show, a weekly live public awareness and training resource geared toward the Spanish-speaking autism community. She immerses herself in learning about the needs of our communities and always respect family's culture and rights for self-determination while keeping family empowerment at the forefront of all of her interactions. 
She conceived and developed a new program that engages individuals on the autism spectrum to examine how autism is portrayed on television and film. Her Let's Talk About It program meets monthly to watch and discuss selected film and video clips and examine issues of bias, stereotypes, assumptions, and self-advocacy. The program has created a forum for individuals to meet and learn with others, share ideas, learn self-advocacy skills, and develop a broader sense of community. Ema mentors a young adult on the autism spectrum, helping him to develop independent living skills and social-emotional understanding. She collaborates with the Learning Academy at USF to teach a college preparation course to high school grads and has researched evidence-based practices and now runs a twice-weekly mindfulness group for young adults to help relieve the common anxiety, self-regulation challenges, and physical stressors. Ima is a mother of two and has a physical disability herself, so she is deeply committed to the disability community. Rafael Quintero is a Spanish literature graduate student that has been at USF since 2013. He is originally from Venezuela. Like so many others, he came to the U.S. not only to earn an education, but to seek refuge from tyranny and poverty. He acquired a B.A. and an M.A. in Latin American history at USF before he began his journey to become a Spanish language and literature teacher. He has, for the longest time, served as a positive example for all other Latinos, often being the only student of Hispanic descent in many of his graduate courses. He has persevered and prospered in USF, despite considerable economic hardship and life-shattering tragedies, always inspiring and aiding fellow students of all ethnicities as they tango with the vicissitudes of academia and college. He is now working with the faculty at the World Language Department on the transcription and regularization of the letters sent by Spanish conquistador Pedro Menendez Avias, the founder of St. Augustine to the Spanish crown after his settlement of La Florida and the destruction of the French settlements along the southeastern coast. As St. Augustine is the first successful and continuously uninhabited European settlement in now what is the U.S., these letters hold immense historical value as the most important surviving records of this initial settlement. Rafael aspires to become a college professor teaching and researching cultural and social issues regarding Latin American literature and history, with a particular emphasis on the contributions and legacy of Latinos and Hispanics in the U.S. Eric Ruiz. Eric earned a bachelor's degree in biology from James Madison University in 2012 and a master's degree in public health from Benedictine University in 2020. He has over five years of experience in supporting diverse LGBTQ plus youth groups and providing sexual behavioral health outreach and education to underserved BIPOC communities for various state and community organizations. These experiences ignited his passion for community-based health disparities research. He's currently a PhD student in public health concentrating in community and family health in the College of Public Health at USF. Eric is currently working to support multiple research projects that center the supportive care and health literacy needs of Latinx people in the US and in Latin America. He has also worked to invest his time and efforts into his community by providing a mentorship to Latino graduate and undergraduate students by supporting health literacy dissemination efforts to Spanish speaking audiences and by supporting research efforts that seek to reduce health disparities in Latino communities. His own research interests center the social cultural care needs of Latinx adolescents in the management of adverse mental health care disparities. In his doctoral work, he would like to address the factors that facilitate cultural stigma associated with poor mental well-being at the community and policy levels. Glenda Maria Valian Cruz was born in Santiago de Cuba and migrated with her family to the United States when she was three years old. She earned her BA in Anthropology and a BA in Latin American Studies from the University of Central Florida in 2019. She is now enrolled in the dual Masters of Arts program in Latin American, Caribbean, and Latino Studies and Applied Anthropology here at the University of South Florida. Ms. Valian Cruz is currently engaged in a research study titled Latinx and Latin Americans in the United States, Mapping Ethnic and Racial Experiences in Higher Education, directed by Dr. Beatriz Padilla, Director of the Institute for the Study of Latin American and the Caribbean, also known as ISLAC here at USF and sponsored by ISLAC. 
In this research, Ms. Valian Cruz has conducted many interviews in English and Spanish of Latinx and Latin American college students focusing on U.S. Afro-Latinx to understand the impact of ethno-racism on their identity formation. In addition, Valian Cruz's academic activities include positions as a teaching and research assistant in the Department of Anthropology and in ISLAC. She is also a project coordinator for a research project in the Department of Anthropology on COVID-19 and diabetes. She was a summer evaluation and research intern for Girls Report, Inc., a nonprofit organization where her duties included managing and analyzing evaluation data. She's currently a peer mentor for a Latinx graduate student in the USF Department of Anthropology. She also co-founded the Graduate Language Club at USF. The club is for graduate students from various USF departments studying a variety of languages, including Spanish and Portuguese. She displays an intent on investigating the situation of Latinx people and Latin American migrants in the United States and the diaspora and demonstrates an urgent desire to improve their status. Sharon Benitez is a recent graduate from USF with a BA in sociology and a concentration in inequality and social justice. During her last year at USF, Sharon was the president of Undoc United, an organization on campus that advocates for the undocumented student population. She volunteered at the Student Health Clinic for three years before becoming student volunteer coordinator of the Desk Aspirations Support Staff. Through this, she has been able to attend and help execute health services events at USF, such as Get Yourself Tested and the free flu shot events. Sharon was also a tour guide for over three years and guided hundreds of high school students regarding their future college careers while also interacting with families at admission fairs. She helped with events hosted by staff in the College of Nursing by providing Spanish translation services to those who are undocumented and underserved, as well as volunteering at the JC Clinic in Tampa as a Spanish interpreter. Currently, Sharon is part of a research team in ISLAC that is looking to map the ethnic and racial experiences of Latin Americans and Latinos, Latinas, and Latinxes in higher education. She aspires to become a physician and ultimately hopes to volunteer her time to help the undocumented and intersex community. John Clark, he is a graduate student in the Masters of Library and Information Science program at USF School of Information. He has been involved with Undoc United since fall of 2020 and is interested in helping to increase equity and access to resources for all members of our society, especially those who may be undocumented and face additional challenges. Diego Dolante is a senior psychology major with hopes of studying public health in graduate school. His dream is to research mental health disparities within minority communities specifically the Hispanic Latinx community and provide valuable solutions to this stigmatized issue. He is currently president of Undoc United, a student organization dedicated to creating an inclusive and safe environment for any and all immigrants and allies. He is also a research assistant in the Alliance and Suicide Prevention and the Emotion and Resilience Labs. As a first generation immigrant and DACA recipient, he has always felt out of place in this country. It was not until he embraced his Peruvian immigrant identity that he found where he truly belongs. Diego expresses, Gracias a todos por su apoyo. Adelante y viva Peru. Melanie Esque is a doctoral student in the Department of Sociology at USF. Over the past few years, she has been engaged with research and service that focuses on better serving Latina, Latino, and Latinx communities. As part of two NSF funded grants, her work enters on the emotional experiences of Puerto Rican post-disaster migrants and undocumented young adults from a variety of Latin countries of origin. She serves as a treasurer of Undoc United, a student organization at USF that cultivates a welcoming space for immigrants with no status or temporary status, as well as their allies. One of the main goals is to raise funds to support USF students with no legal status, DACA or TPS. In spring 2020, we were able to raise nearly $3,600 to provide support to four students. 
She is also a facilitator for Undocu Ally, a training to raise awareness for our undocumented community at USF and provide support and resources to allies to provide support to students and colleagues without permanent legal status. Melanie acknowledges that without the support of her mentor, Dr. Elizabeth Aranda, and all of the incredible undocumented, documented individuals that have shared their stories with her, none of this would be possible. Congratulations, student awardees, and now announcing the Seoul Staff Award recipients. Patrick Dune has a Master's of Arts in English as a second language, a Bachelor's of Arts in Political Science, and is a former Peace Corps volunteer. He has served as Director of the University of South Florida CAMP and HEP programs since 2009, and was the Associate Director of the University of South Florida CAMP program from 2001 to 2006, and HEP from 1990 to 2009. Mr. Dune has conducted workshops for migrant education programs nationwide and directed the Migrant Summer Institute, establishing a leadership institute for college-bound migrant students. He served for many years as an executive board member of the HEP Camp Association and chaired the scholarship committee. In 2005, he helped establish an internship program for the association. As chairman of the internship committee, he helped select and place qualified farm worker students in internships in Washington, D.C. He was also a member of Florida's Migrant Education Comprehensive Needs Assessment Committee. Mr. Dune is a two-time recipient of the USF Latin Community Advisory Committee Hispanic Pathways Award. He is a frequent presenter at the National HEP and Camp Association Conference, the Office of Migrant Education Directors Meetings, and all Office of Migrant Education webinars. Virginia Flores is the Camp Student Services Advisor. She is the person that meets and advises all incoming camp students through their first year in the program. She is dedicated to the work she does and fosters these relationships beyond the student's first year. She has always been a dependable resource and makes students feel welcomed and at home during their time at the University of South Florida. CAMP, the College Ass Assistance Migrant Program, is a federally funded program that provides financial assistance, support services, and cultural enrichment opportunities to students from migrant and seasonal farm worker backgrounds during their first year at the university. Each year, a cohort of anywhere from 20 to 30 students is admitted into the CAMP program. Each year, Virginia is the primary advisor, but alongside her team, they provide support services for the new cohort of students. Virginia contributes to the Hispanic community and culture by being a positive impact in students' lives. Her nominator indicated the guidance she provided me along the way 12 years ago still holds a special place in my identity as a former USF undergraduate student. It was the polishing I needed to ensure student success beyond my first year. I am grateful for advisors and educators like her. Doctora Monica Lee Miranda was born and raised in New York City and identifies as a proud Latina and Puerto Rican. As the director of the Center for Student Involvement at the University of South Florida, she leads a team creating experiences for students to find their sense of belonging, advancing student engagement and success. She is also an adjunct instructor for the Higher Education Administration Graduate Program at New England College in New Hampshire and an independent educational consultant and speaker. Dr. Miranda received her bachelor and master's degrees at the University at Albany, State University of New York, and her doctor of philosophy degree from the University of Rochester. 
Her dissertation research explored the experiences and amplified the voices of Latinas in Latina sororities. She is a co-editor of two books and author of multiple book chapters. Dr. Miranda also served on the inaugural editorial board for Oracle, the research journal of the Association of Fraternity and Sorority Advisors. Dr. Miranda has dedicated much of her volunteering to creating and strengthening organizations for marginalized communities with a distinct focus on Latinx, Latina, Latino communities. She helped create the National Association of Latino Fraternal Organizations, NALFO, receiving its inaugural NALFO Lifetime Achievement Award in 2020, and served as the inaugural chair of the Board of Trustees for her sorority, Omega Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. She was the 34th president for the Association of Fraternity and Sorority Advisors, AFA, creating history as the first person of color to assume that role. At the University of South Florida, she co-founded Alianza Latina Faculty and Staff Association, serving as its inaugural president. She is also a member of the Status of Latinos Presidential Advisory Committee as well as the newly created Advancing Latino Access and Success, ALAS, Presidential Task Force. Dr. Miranda is a member of the Miss Tampa Board of Directors, combining her passion for empowering women with the educational support of the Miss America Scholarship Program. Congratulations to all the staff award recipients. And now we will announce the faculty award recipients. Dr. Arlene Calvo is a researcher and associate professor as a faculty member at the University of South Florida College of Public Health, assigned to the program in Panama at the City of Knowledge. Dr. Calvo is also an affiliate researcher at the Gorgias Memorial Institute for Health Studies in Panama. She holds a Doctor of Philosophy and a Master's Degree in Public Health from the University of South Florida and a Bachelor's of Arts in Chemistry from the University of South Florida. Her area of expertise includes women's health issues, including cancer, vaccines, domestic violence, COVID-19, and sexually transmitted diseases such as HIV. Since her return to Panama, Dr. Calvo has been involved in public health studies that include the participation of vulnerable populations at the community level, which includes the participation of groups such as pregnant women, pediatric populations, indigenous groups, commercial sex workers, and others. In Latin America and Latinx communities around the world, Dr. Calvo brings 20 years of research experience in the United States, Panama, and other countries in Latin America. Currently, she coordinates the Salud Latina USF Initiative and the Public Health Practice Program and the Public Health Generalist Certificate Program. Dr. Diana Echavarria is an Associate Professor of Entrepreneurship at the University of South Florida's Center for Entrepreneurship. Diana explores the various dynamics confronted in the different phases of the nascent entrepreneurial process by drawing on economic, sociology, and strategic management theories. Her research interests include topics in cross-cultural entrepreneurship, underrepresented founders, and social entrepreneurship. Diana's research has been featured at various conferences and symposiums, such as the Academy of Management, the International Council for Small Business, the United States Association for Small Business and Entrepreneurship, and the Babson College Entrepreneurship Research Conference. Additionally, her research has been published in journals such as Small Business Economics, Journal of Business and Ethics, and Entrepreneurship Theory and Practice. Diana has a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Business Administration from the University of Cincinnati 
a Master's of Arts in Liberal Studies from Florida International University, and a Bachelor's of Arts in Sociology from the University of Florida. Dr. Beatriz Padilla holds a PhD in Sociology from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, a Master's in Public Affairs from the University of Texas at Austin, and a Licenciatura in Political Sciences and Public Administration from the National University of Cuyo in Mendoza, Argentina. Her dissertation focused on women's organizing in a global context, activism in Salvador, Brazil at the crossroad of race, class, and gender. She has conducted field work across the world in Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Mexico, Uruguay, Chile, and Portugal, and also in the United States with Latino populations in the Midwest and Florida and with Brazilians in Portugal and California. Dr. Padilla is the director of the Institute for the Study of Latin America and the Caribbean, an associate professor in the Department of Sociology at USF. Before jo joining USF in 2018, she was associate professor at the University of Mino and associate research professor at Instituto Universitario de Lisboa, where she created the first summer school on Latin America today. She is an advocate for migrants and for Latinos, Latinas, Latinx people in the United States. She is one of the founding members of Alianza Latina, the recently created USF Faculty and Staff Association, and will be a new member of the USF Task Force Advancing Latino Access and Success, ALAS, that Dr. Law has put in place. She is committed to the advancement of Latinos, Latinas, and Latinx in general, and our students in particular. Congratulations to all the Faculty Award recipients. And now we will announce the Community Award recipients. Carlos Irizari is a registered nurse, a wellness coach and founder, pastor and executive director of Wholesome Community Ministries, a grassroots, nonprofit, faith-based organization serving Waimama and its surrounding communities of South Hillsboro County, Tampa. Carlos Irizari worked in Brandon Hospital's emergency room for nine years and for the Hillsborough County Jail and Florida prison systems for eight years, where he was promoted to health services administrator for their medical department. He worked also as a corporation nurse for J.P. Morgan Chase. In addition, Carlos has had the privilege of providing aid in 13 countries, including during the tsunami in Indonesia, the earthquake in Haiti, the floods in Nicaragua, and in other medical mission trips to Honduras, Mexico, Venezuela, and Cuba. As an ordained minister, Pastor Carlos graduated with a certificate in theological studies and advanced ministerial studies. In 2009, Pastor Carlos and his family launched WCM with the vision of alleviating poverty in the communities of Waimama and in the surrounding area. Pastor Carlos has earned recognition for his work. In 2013, Tampa Bay Business Journal, 2013 Healthcare Hero Award in the Medical Professional Non-Physician category. In 2017, the Wendell Rollison Award by the Florida Rural Health Association Board. In 2021, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office awarded Pastor Carlos with the Citizens Award. Although Pastor Carlos is proud of the contributions he has made to our greater community and world, he is the proudest of his family, his wife Judy of 40 years, his two children, Elliot and Natalie, and three grandchildren, Gabby, Luca, and Eros. Mariela Olson has been the circuit director for the sixth Judicial Circuit Guardian Ad Litem Program for almost five years. Previously, she worked for the program as a child's best interest attorney. Born in Hoboken, New Jersey, 
Mariela comes from a large Latin family of five siblings. She completed her undergraduate degree at the University of South Florida, and in 2000, her law degree at Stetson University College of Law in St. Petersburg. She began her career at the State Attorney's Office of the Sixth Judicial Circuit, serving in the Children's Legal Services Division. She then moved on to prosecuting juvenile delinquency and in 2011 to the Guardian Ad Litem program. Her parents arrived from Cuba many years ago. Being part of a family who often struggled to make ends meet, the issues surrounding families and children have always been close to her heart. As the circuit director, Mari Mariela oversees four Guardian Ad Litem offices in Pasco and Pinellas counties with close to 800 certified volunteers. The Guardian Ad Litem program currently represents approximately 2,300 kids and through her dedicated staff and volunteers provide best interest advocacy for the children in the Pinellas and Pasco child welfare system. Mariela is an avid reader who enjoys spending time with her family and two dogs, Daisy and Roscoe. Mr. Edgardo Solivan is quite accomplished. He holds two graduate degrees, a Master's of Business Administration and a Master of Arts in Organizational Management. He has also served as a project manager. He was born and raised in Guayama, Puerto Rico, and New York City, New York. He served in the Army and retired as a non-commissioned officer with over 22 years of service. He has served in the Gulf War, Bosnia, and Iraq. He also served in three overseas tours, two in Korea and one in Germany. He is currently a volunteer service specialist at Bay Pines Veterans Administration Healthcare System. The time has come to announce the raffle winners. Names have been randomly drawn and are now posted in the chat box next to this video player. Please take a close look. And if your name is listed there, you can reach out to us at the email address you see there. Good luck. And with that, we've reached the end of the 2021 Hispanic Heritage Celebration Awards presented by the USF Status of Latinos Presidential Advisory Committee. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients and award winners. We thank all of our partners at the university and at the community at large. And we thank you for joining us today. Adios. Let's celebrate who we are. Let the festivities begin. Like Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. We paint a picture, the world stops and stares. Come alive.